Okay, there's a corner store over here. Oh, and it's a 24-7. Perfect. Greetings. Hey, Muhammad. Man, I have got a story to tell you, man. I, I just heard about this story. Now, it's a little creepy. Alright, I ain't gonna lie. It's a little creepy at the beginning, but it's funny as hell at the end. Alright. So there's a guy, there's a young boy working in a shop, kind of like this. And he's working the graveyard shift. Uh, it's uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning, got it? Well, he it's like, oh, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. And he's just, you know, doing his regular routine. And this random ass guy comes in, right? And he's, you know, wandering the shop like this. You know, and the 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 one boy that's there, you know, he's kind of like you. He's the only guy in the shop, so he's just monitoring this guy, you know, making sure he needs anything or anything like that. Well, at first the guy's real normal, having real normal conversations about the weather and all that other stuff. And then slowly but surely he starts adding more and more obscenities, you know, like dropping in, you know, fuck and shit and damn into other things. And then, finally, once he gets done wandering around the store like this, like I'm doing right now, he comes up to the front register, like he's gonna buy something, but he ain't got anything in his hands. So the guy comes up to the register, and the boy goes back there too, and he's like, do you need anything? And he, the man starts talking to the, to the boy again, and he asks him, what do you know about the Antichrist? And the boy's taken aback for a second, but he's like, well, I was raised Catholic, so I guess I know quite a bit. And then, the man just starts going on and on about how there'll be no this, and no that, no this, and no that, when the Antichrist comes, because the devil won't allow it, and yada, yada, yada. And the boy's getting creeped out, and then he looks at the, uh, the man looks at the hot dogs, and he says... Uh, I should buy a hot dog and the guy says all right uh, which one do you want and he says one of the the big one it's one of the big ones then he says uh, after he gets in the hot dog the man pays for it and then he says can I eat this here and the boy is you know he's really creeped out right now so he wants the guy to leave right so he says I don't think it's a good idea man my boss comes in around 5:30. He don't want people hanging out, and he especially don't want them, you know, eating and leaving crumbs and whatnot. The man says, I'm not worried about him. And the boy's bluffing, of course. He, he's trying to use his boss coming in at 5.30 as a bluff. Because while the boss does actually come in at 5.30, it's only Monday through Friday. He avoids that station like a plague during the weekend. Well, the man starts eating the hot dog, and he says, I, I better enjoy this now because... The devil won't allow such a thing when the time comes, hey, and so on, so on. And, uh, then he starts going on and on about all this devil and antichrist stuff some more, and the boy's getting more creeped out, and the guy randomly says, I should buy milk. The devil won't allow milk when the time comes because of its holy sustenance. And he's just going on and on and on. And the boy's getting creeped out, and he's trying to, you know, play the bluff that his boss is going to come in soon. So it's like every five minutes he's telling him, <clears throat> "Hey man, my boss is gonna be coming in soon," and uh, the guy says, "I don't, I don't care. I'm not worried about him," and just dropping more and more antichrist this, devil that, yada yada yada, all kinds of really creepy religious lines. I mean, religion's usually good, but this guy's just being really creepy with it, right? And then at one point, while the boy's actually trying to usher the guy away he actually says the boy's full name like not just his first name which would be on the name tag but his full freaking name well lo and behold and you're gonna call bullshit on this and when I first heard the story I did too but I've I've been trying to find out if this is real or not that believe it or not at about 525 guess who rolls in the boss the boss's name is James by the way now here's how the boss looks when he comes in, alright? He's got his head shaved, he's recently shaved his head. 
He's got a little goatee beard. And he's been at the beach all day Saturday with, I guess, hardly any sunscreen. So his skin is all red, right? So he looks like the devil. All right. Hey, honey, how are you? And uh, so then he walks in and the, the young boy is like, James, what the hell are you doing here? You know, not expecting the guy to ever come in. And the guy said, James says, I honestly don't know. I just felt like coming in. And he later finds out that James had been at the beach all day, and he fell asleep at the beach, and then for whatever reason possessed him to do it, he decided to come to the store. <clears throat> I guess maybe he didn't have anything better to do that late on a Saturday, so he says, I'll go check on my guy at the store or something. Now, anyway, he looks at the man who's been talking all that Antichrist and devil stuff, and then he's he says, who's this? And the boy gives him that look of, you know, uh... You know that, uh, I've been trying to get rid of him, but he won't leave. Can you help me out here kind of look, you know? So he looks at him and he says, let's go outside and talk, friend. So James and the guy go outside and talk. And like 10 minutes later, the man walks away. And then James walks back into the store and the boy says, James, what the hell? I've been trying to get rid of him for like a couple hours. How the hell did you do that? And he goes, oh, you mean with Richard? The, as the guy's name Richard he says oh you mean with Richard he said well he started talking to me about God and Jesus so I started talking to him about witchcraft and then he said he started talking about the Antichrist and James said that he told Richard that he was the Antichrist and I guess that drove Richard away well you would think that that would be the end of the story but apparently not like a couple weeks later like two or so weeks later the boy's doing a, a daytime shift, and he's just hanging out in front of the store smoking a cigarette on a smoke break with a couple of, you know, regular customers who come in all the time, right? And all of a sudden, he starts hearing, Dear God in heaven, come down and help me! And he recognizes the voice, but not everybody else hears it at first, and he's like, Oh God, please don't be Richard. Please don't be Richard. Dear God in heaven, come down and help me! Please don't be Richard. Please don't be Richard. Lo and behold... It is Richard, and he comes barreling around the corner, and he's covered in what looks like his own blood. And everybody else, you know, that sees this is freaking out, like, holy crap, what happened to him? Is he covered in blood? Holy crap! And the only thing the boy can think is, don't go in the store, don't go in the store, don't go in the store, and then fuck, well, that's exactly what he goes and does. And so the boy runs in, and he's got, you know, blood on random places where Richard's, you know, badly hurt and bleeding all over the place and so the boy grabs some towels and throws them to Richard I guess so that he can kind of clean himself up a bit and so the boy can look at his injuries and the injuries look like the guy tried to like crucify himself and so the Richard is going on and on about Jesus and you know wanting Jesus and God to come down and get him save him and all this all this stuff, and uh, the boy calls 911, and you know the operator picks up 911. What's your emergency? And he says, "Yeah, I got a guy here in my store. He's yelling profanities and shouting about Jesus and God and the devil and all this other stuff. Can you please send somebody out?" And now keep in mind, Richard can't hear the operator, but he says, "You said you said he's yelling about uh, he's yelling profanities." And right at that moment, and this is where it gets funny, right at that very moment, right when the operator asked the boy, you said he's yelling profanities, Richard proceeds to yell at the top of his lungs, FUCK! And the boy just said, um, did you hear that? And the operator said, yeah, I got it. And then he said, you also said he's yelling about Jesus? And right then, Richard goes on this tirade, like, Jesus Christ in heaven, come down and save me, please! And it's like, did you hear that too? And the operator's like, yeah, we'll send somebody out. So they send out a, a car and they pick up Richard. And then after that, it's no longer a problem. So like I said, it was a creepy story at the beginning, but it turned funny at the end. And I just wanted to share that with you. And um, by the way, I'm just as fucking oh, crazy as Richard. Okay, I would okay, like I'm all trying. the fucking money in the Please fucking register if you don't mind. Please hurry to fuck up, Muhammad. I really don't want to have to shoot your ass. 
Just please hurry up, please. I really don't feel like shooting your ass today. There goes a family vacation. Hey, you got to hear a good story. What are you complaining about? Yeah, you're going to hell anyway. Ah! How did you not die from that? What the fuck? You might have a bigger gun, but I have a better gun. Uh, bye bye.